Hi, I'm Tim Mahoney, the Director of Debate at the St. Mark's School of Texas, and this lecture is entitled ICM, or Ideas Communicated Per Minute. I know a lot of you spend a lot of time worried about your speed or your words per minute, and what you really should be worried about is your ICM or your ideas communicated per minute. If your words per minute is 500, but your ICM is 1, then you're on the wrong side of the equation. Many of your peers will try to convince you that you need to be hot and fast, but really what you want is cool, cool ICM like ice, just so you don't forget. Okay, so how do we improve our ICM? You can Google, debate, talk, fast drills, and you'll get a bunch of stuff. However, my favorite drill is very simple, yet very effective. Every night, take a file you have never read before and read it for 10 minutes. Make sure you read to comprehend. I want to repeat that because I think a lot of debaters try to learn to read mindlessly. Read to comprehend. You want to understand what you're reading. This helps you in two ways. First, you may realize that your evidence also implicates arguments you aren't currently answering. For example, you're reading a card on the case that makes an argument that the disadvantage is already happening. On some occasions, you might even pause reading a card for just a second and say, that part of the evidence proves that people are being released from prisons now, which makes the election disadvantages fear of crime leak non-unique. Then pause for a second and say, the evidence continues. Now you've taken one card and communicated two ideas by answering a case argument and by having an additional argument against a disadvantage. If you are clear, the judge will get that, and as an added bonus, your opponents are probably reading your speech document and not listening to your speech, so your partner in the 1AR when extending the case can point out that your opponents dropped the part of this card that makes the election's disadvantage non-unique. The second reason to read to comprehend is to decrease your stumbling. This is probably the number one issue reducing your WPM and your ICM. You stumble over words that you don't know. Reading different files every night will expand your vocabulary and reduce the number of words you stumble over, which makes you easier to understand and significantly increases your ideas communicated per minute. All right, the next major thing that you can do to improve your ICM is careful block writing. I'm sure there will be a lecture about that here at the GDS, but again, you can just Google debate block writing and I'm sure you'll find plenty of stuff. The key thing is to do it. The more efficient your blocks are, the more ideas per minute you will be able to communicate. I'll, I'll make two points and leave you to Google the rest. First, tags should be efficient yet explanatory. The impact or disadvantage is the death of everyone on planet Earth caused by multiple nuclear wars between the United States, Russia, and China. Explanatory, but not efficient. Extinction. Efficient, but not explanatory. Closer to Goldilocks. The impact is extinction from nuclear war between the US, Russia, and China. Second, highlighting of your text of evidence should be efficient, but not so efficient that it doesn't express complete thoughts that make sense when read. A lot of debaters take out a lot of the smaller words like a and the, etc., which is fine, except when it means that when the evidence is read out loud, it doesn't make sense, and so the debater stumbles over words, or it doesn't register when the judge tries to understand it. So, focus on your ideas communicated per minute. ICM, ICM. 